Hey, 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 this is Salmas Matt, and welcome to episode 7, lucky number 7, of Defenders of Oasis. Uh, so, last time I left you off, we got through the second half of the, the temple, which was just pushing through uh, some more ferocious enemies and some uh, stolen enemies from uh, the two towers of Lord of the Ring. So we're going to go on and we are going to read this plaque. Use the mirror of knowledge. Here is inscribed the spell of transporting. Rag. Seems like a bad name for a spell of transporting. The genie can carry his master anywhere in the blink of an eye. The genie learns the spell of rag. Great. Now we can get off of this wretched island. I think he meant to say wretched, they just didn't have enough space, even though there's a huge space after island. Prince, let's go to Mahamud. But we must save Princess Mariam. Um, why all of a sudden does the princess have a name? Uh, everything before this was the princess of, of Mahamud, and all of a sudden she has the name. Yeah, I think someone screwed up there. I'm just saying. Uh, if, if we go to, to Mahamud, my house is there, and we may be able to get some information about the princess. Okay, Genie, take us to Mahmoud. Do you wish to go to Mahmoud? That's what I just said, you dumb freaking. Just take us there. Chapter 3 Capital. Guyland? Guyland? I don't know. I better tell my mother about what happened to Dad. Alright. Welcome home, Salim. Oh, you have a guest. Where's your father? This is the Princess Shandar. Dad is... What? The Princess Shandar? And where's my dear S Salem? Is something wrong? Dad is... Dead. He was killed by Imperial Guards while he was trying to save the princess. Oh, my dear. Dad's last word was to help the prince. So I'm going to fight the Imperial Army with the prince. I'll get revenge for my father. Oh, Salim, you must be tired. Why don't you get some rest? You too, Prince. Wow, so that's what she has to say when her son says when her son says that he's gonna pretty much take on a losing battle, your response is go to bed. Um, so we are in a new area and she is the new sleeping person. You talk to her, you go to sleep, you get healed for free. Um And this is also the first place that we come to that um we don't have to fight anything. There's a rumor that a deserter from the Imperial Army is hiding in this town. Oh, you don't say. This country is so small, the Imperial Army doesn't bother with us. Well, that's a good thing. Um, let's see, what do we have for money? We only got 1600 don't worry about anything. Um, but you have swords, you have armor, and you have items there if you want it. Um, um, and one guy runs them all. Uh, let's see, what's this guy have to say? Hey, Salim, tell your old man that I want to talk with him one of these nights. Yeah, that might be a little difficult. Just just say it. I heard that the princess was of this... You knew there had to be a fumble up eventually. I heard that the princess of this country was captured by Imperial Army. Uh, no, nah, that, that never happened. No. Alright, let's talk to the queen first. Prince Mahamud, is this... What? Sorry, hold on. Prince Mahamud is a small country. I'm sorry, I just got completely lost on that one. We could never think of standing up to Imperial forces. Brave Prince of Shanadar, please rescue our princess. Say no more. Oh, what do you gotta say, servant? Prince, have you met Kalahan? Kalahan is a magician. Maybe he can help us rescue the princess. Okay. Uh, I looked up Kalahan. I can't find any name. Um, the king always thinks he's, young, he's younger than he really is. He often gets excited and strains his back. Um, other than Khan, it's spelled wrong. Spell it like you see in Star Trek. That's K-H-A-N. Yo, know, that's how you would spell Han in Arabian. I see. The rumors that the princess was captured are true. I'm so sorry. It happened. It happened while I was protected. It was supposed to be protected. No, I have no intention of blaming you. I'll lead the march on the Imperial Army myself. 
My subjects, we are going to send an, our army to war. And there goes his back. Yeah, and I completely screwed up reading that. So, oh, here we go. Some blue guy. Purple guy. What is that? Blue or purple? I don't know. I suspect that your pr that Princess Miriam is captive somewhere in Gailan, the capital of the Empire. Let's see now. How should you get to Gailan? Hmm. Oh, Prince, you have the ancient magic lamp. By using the spell to transport it, Gailan is just a wish away. Okay. So we can't use it inside. Great. So let's leave. Um, one thing I want to point out is the books that you see on the bookshelf there and the ones that are um, in uh, Shanadar, you can actually read to get a little bit of background information about, um, you know, the Three Rings and the Battle of uh, Zahak and uh, Feridon. Feridon? I, don't know, I don't know what the real spelling is. So let's go to Island. Um, well, we're facing down. Might as well go down. See what's down here. And a fight. Hmm. Was really not expecting this. And we have magicians. And a Latusia. I, I, I didn't even get a chance to look that up because I wasn't expecting fights right now. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so I will look that up for the next video. But we all know what a magician is. So... Right. Um, this thing is pissing me off. Uh, oops. No, uh, never mind. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to look around and I. Th well, great. Thank you for that. Uh, I really appreciate you, you know, doing 10 points of damage on everybody. That's just wonderful. All right, can this freaking thing die already? Thank you. Good God. Spell lightning. Yeah, that's pointless. All right, Genie's gonna jump in a barrel. Uh, so come on, I just want to get, I just want to get to the next point. Lots of money. Oh, what the bloody hell. Alright, well, I'm not going to skip this battle because, well, we got a new enemy. It's, um, a gray thing. What's the gray thing called? Uh, Lamia? Okay. Um, so yeah, we have a um, big honkin' gray beast, which is a reprint. Um, actually, both these enemies are reprints. Um, oh wait, no, all the enemies so far are complete reprints. Um, yeah, you, you, this game reprints its enemies a lot. A lot. Don't think that this is going to be the last time you're going to see these, these enemies. You'll see them even more. But what I have to say is that there's always at least one or two unique enemies to a specific place. And as we go on, those unique enemies become even more awesome. So we found our boat, and this is just dock. So let's run away before we get into another battle. Run away! Okay, let us in. We want to save the princess. This is the capital. We can't let you uh, let any unauthorized people enter. Now they get lost. And he has the same thing to say. So we can't go anywhere. So let's head back. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong place. Making genie go around in circles. All right. Um, well, we got into a battle. We took a little bit of damage. So let's take a quick night sleep. And um, Salim likes to be in bed with me. Apparently, that's. You know, I, that's one thing I've always wondered about RPGs. Would it have been so hard to put as many beds there are people? I mean, some RPGs actually do do it. But, you know, is it so much to ask to, uh, you know, separate people out? You know, this whole one bed thing is kind of uh, suspect at times. 
Alright, so we failed miserably at getting into town, so let's go talk to Khan again. Kalahan. I see, so you can get in after all. I would help to have something to check them. That's it. How about a passport? Well, there's one person in this town who would possibly have a passport, and that's the deserter. Um, that that first guy that we talked to mentioned. So let's go talk to the deserter. Let's talk get past them and everything else. There's only one corner that we haven't looked in, and it's right here. Yes. Help! Please spare my life. What? Oh, what are we doing? I thought some killers from the Imperial Army came to get me. Right. I used to be a soldier in the Imperial Army, but I deserted. What? If you need a passport for the capital, I have one here. Take it if you want. So, we have a passport. I heard that you are the Prince of Shanadar. Do you think you could pull some strings and get me a job at the castle? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Traitor. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to go back to here. That's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to talk to these guys. Can't promise anything. Alright, so we are in. Um, we could just walk right through the front door. And here's another reprint, a uh, Wendigo. Um, so we have a gray one and a green one that we have to fight. Um, if you remember quickly, it was originally a ghoul, which was brown. Um, so, yeah. Lots of, lots of reprints. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to end up, end the, the video here. Um, I'm actually going to do some, uh, leveling up right on this pier. I'm not going to do anything inside. Um, going to do some leveling up. Uh, just so that it's easier, uh, because this place is freaking huge. Um, a lot of video games have that one place where despite how good the video game is, there's that one place that drives you up the freaking wall. This is that one place. Um, this is the, the, the Tomb Raider St. Francis's Folly of Defenders of Oasis. This is the the drag queen quest of Final Fantasy VII. This is the bane of this game, um, but it's quite rewarding uh, when you get through it. Um, so it's kind of worth it. So um, we're gonna end it off here. I'm gonna kind of sit right in this area, level up a whole lot, and uh, I will meet you here next time. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you soon, again, sometime, eventually, maybe, I don't know, but we'll get there when we get there.